Uh, one other element that we're looking at in both time frames is what does that mean for the economic outlook um, and for the economic risks? And on the one hand, in the short term, in the last few months, it appears that we're headed towards a softer landing. It's also very clear that quite a lot of the risks that started emerging over the last year around the economy were fairly swiftly handled um, and so didn't turn into anything with very severe consequences. So there is a positive trajectory. At the same time, because of some of the geopolitical aspects, because of um, cybersecurity risks and others, it's very possible that um, there's an additional shock or a high risk of miscalculation. Um, so um, loosening policy too soon or too fast. So there's that particular aspect that we're still watching and looking through for the next two years. Inflation continues to be a top 10 risk for the next two years. In the longer term, though, um, what we're looking at is the divergence between developed and developing economies. Um, as well as between um, those that are on a lower income trajectory and those that are on a higher income trajectory within different societies and what that means for sort of the social contract within countries over the longer term, especially if people cannot count anymore on the next generation doing better than what they are currently doing. So that's two key elements we're looking at. 